So today we have Von Galt. So she's back for another round of videos. <clears throat> and today she's going to start talking about uh, abundance blocks, health tips, and tips for to help you out yourself to make yourself a better person. So she's a QHHT practitioner, an author, and an IT professional. So she dips into a little bit of everything. And so she's going to give us some tips on these abundance blocks, some health tips, and how to make yourself a better person. Tips for yourself. Yes. Juan, take it away. <laughs> yes, and we're definitely also going to get into synchronicity and how your soul right. groups work right. together to nudge you along in your, your journey here on earth. That's right. So, um, so, um, so basically just, just a, a simple background for people who are not familiar with me or haven't watched uh, any previous videos of our interviews. Um, I, I am Vaughn Galt and I'm a normal working mom here in Seattle, Washington. And I actually work in the IT profession. Um, so, you know, I have the same kind of, you know, schedule as almost everybody in the working world. And aside from that, I also write books on any topic that is interesting to me. And um, I think my, I always joke that my residual income from my books basically pays for the expense of childcare here in Seattle. <laughs> so it, it, it's just, it's enormous. So, if, so people who live in IT areas, um, in very expensive areas, also have a balancing act. And a lot of people have what they call a side hustle. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So and anyway, I'll link in the description for her books that's listed on Amazon as well. Yes. So it's easier for everybody to find. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, anyways, uh, so I write books, and um, and one of the things that I do to write books and to get content is I um, am a QHHT practitioner, which is quantum healing hypnosis through the Dolores Cannon um, modality that she created when she was alive. And basically how I came to be a QHHT practitioner kind of goes into um, my side hobby of writing books. So, um, you know, I, I am from an indigenous tribe called the Hmong tribe of Laos. And um, I, uh, I live here in America under political asylum. Um, and I have been raised in Laotian folklores and also Buddhism. So I have over 40 years of Buddhist knowledge in metaphysics and manifesting with metaphysics and consciousness through that tradition. Uh, and I'm constantly working to perfect, uh, you know, myself and my merkaba, um, my mandala, which is what we call in, um, in Buddhism. And um, basically from following research of many Buddhist monks like the Dalai Lama and other prominent figures who was, um, I think over 20 or so years ago, was offering themselves as case studies to help get evidence on meditation, mindfulness, um, consciousness studies, um, quantum physics, all that area, I started following the works of many of these monks, and then I started getting into the works of the academic research. And from going into that, I know a lot of information about the academic world that kind of has proven a lot of this stuff is really just science in every day. And from that, I came across Dolores Cannon because she was talking about much the same content, but as a mo hypnosis modality mm. to uncover information about um, different types of lives that people have chosen to incarnate as. And so then I decided to become a practitioner so that I can put into practice the things that I know in Buddhism and metaphysics into helping people through that modality. So that's a little bit of background on myself. But interesting. interesting. If someone wants to get in touch with you, what's the easiest way to get in touch with you? Um, well, they can go to my website, Merkaba Chakras. And I have that in the description, that link. Yep, yep. <laughs> and they can um, send me an email there. They can also call me, but email is best um, because then I can, you know, 
answer whatever it is that you're looking for um, help with or schedule a QHHT session. And there's also a lot of information um, in blogs that I've written over the years um, that is in there about metaphysics that is supported by academic research. Yes, um, a lot of information's on there. <laughs> the a blog. lot of metaphysical research done by academia mm -hmm. um, and a lot of Buddhist studies as well done by academia in the blogs, in the website. But um, the some of the links may not all work because I wrote those blogs in 2011 and I'm now putting it into a book and updating it and putting it out there. And if Amazon would just let me give away one of my books for free forever, I would do it for that book. Just because um, that book I wrote in 2011 and I tested it on my Facebook page and this is before they had author pages and business pages. So it was just personal pages. So I tested it on my personal page and allowed people to follow me or to friend me and to, to see it. And um, the blogs became so popular that they got shared all over the internet, all over Facebook, got rehashed in other people's content. Um, and so it's still on my Facebook timeline from 2011. Mm. But, um, but because it's been shared all over the place, that's really wonderful that at least the information is being disseminated, but, um, the links may not all work because they're so old and a lot of the people from the original research have branched off to create their own channels, create their own foundations and other things. So that now there's even more information supporting these metaphysic topics that are very ancient and old in Buddhism. So, Interesting. yeah. I'm sure it'll take you only a couple of days to update all that. <laughs> all I don't know. I, well, it's, um, <laughs> yeah. well, it's, uh, it's, I'm working on it now and, and I'm going back through what I wrote, you know, in 2011 and I'm going, hmm, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, it looks I like you had about 60 or, or 40 posts on that blog. So you have yeah, information I, on there. So Yeah, and that's not everything. On my Facebook timeline um, in 2011, wow. there was even more. So I pretty much just picked the top ones that got the most mm -hmm. engagement. Some of them had hundreds or thousands of shares and comments. And those are the ones I'm going to put in the book and update, update revise the analysis um, and just, you know, just make it current. And then I'll put it out um, Hopefully in a couple months and then work on my next book, which I'm really excited about, which is about um, all the ancient pyramids all over the world um, and the indigenous um, tribes that live in and around the pyramids all over the world and the folklores around the original descendants um, of that culture. And there's a lot of similarities in these tribes. And I'm from one of these tribes. I'm um, Laotian from the Hmong tribe in Northern Laos. And we have our own megaliths um, structures and we have our own folklores. Um, and also a lot of the folklores are documented in Buddhist folklores as well. Um, because a lot of the people, a lot of the metaphysic knowledge as well um, came from these folklores and from the people who have on these, these traditions. So, yeah, so myself being an indigenous woman, I have my own part in that book, and I'm just really looking forward to getting my Buddhist mandala book about sacred geometry in um, Buddhism, and then going into my book about pyramids and folklores. Um, Perfect. Interesting. In cultures, so. Whenever those books are ready, come on back. So, oh, yeah, I love talking about this stuff. This is yeah, my favorite come on back. Absolutely. time. Whenever those books are ready, let, let, let's let's set up another appointment. Mm -hmm. so, um, you kind of went into my next question. I was going to ask you if there's anything else in the future for you, and you already mentioned the books. Are you working on anything else? Well, that's that's enough for now. I think for the next year and a half. Um, I, and again, if you yourself, as an audience member, are from an indigenous tribe that have folklore around um, ancient megalithic or pyramid sites um, in your area, please reach out and contact me because um, I am doing the research right now and, I, um, and I'll be doing it for the next maybe year, year and a half. So um, I'm, you know, slated to talk to different um, tribal leaders, elders, um, you know, Native American tribe representatives and just, you know, listen to their folklores and document their folklores as accurately as possible um, 
and then you know kind of go from there so please reach out to me if you are also one of these indigenous um, tribal peoples and you have your own folklores about the ancient ones in your in your tribe because your knowledge mm -hmm. is um, very valuable and you may not know this but there may be similarities to other tribes around the world and I am finding that as well interesting yes yes send their message if you have anything that relates mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. All right. We'll wrap it up. Well, thank you very much, Fawn. Yes. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the information. Mm -hmm. Wonderful tips. Tons of information. I'm pretty sure a, a ton of people are going to find this very useful and use this in their practice. And then, I like so. I said, I'll have a link to her website and her book in the description below so you can check it out and use some of this advice to your advantage and to make your life better and to invest in your wealth, your health, and make yourself a better person. So whether it's relationship and so on. <laughs> yeah. All right. To next time, uh, like I said, let us know. Next time you come out with something, new books, new programs, come on back. So, all right. All right. To everybody, take care. Have a good night. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have more videos coming out. And if you're interested in doing an interview, please send me an email, jason at work to invest.com. You can go to the about me page on the YouTube channel for work to invest. And it gives you some ideas of what I'm looking for, what kind of people I want to interview, life coaches, business coaches, entrepreneurs, creators, authors, musicians, and my email address will be right here. If you're not a robot, please click, click on this. And it's, my email address is jason at worktoinvest.com. Also, please don't forget to check out our resource page at work to invest Tons of information, investing, real estate, online business tools, affiliate marketing, Kindle publishing tools. If you're an author, this would be a great. There's even information about investing in your health becoming a healthier person. So tons of information. Make sure you check out worktoinvest.com resource page. So thank you very much. Please subscribe.